Hello and welcome back to my channel, to you and to me. It has been such a long time. YouTube actually has deactivated my Google partnership because it's been so long since I've uploaded and if you don't have a YouTube channel that's basically just like it's it's the precursor to like monetizing your YouTube channel. You have to be a Google partner, whatever. It's not important. Anyway, so much is new and different. I have moved out of my parents' house, my dad's house. Um, I have actually moved all the way across the country to, you might be able to hear and guess from the noise outside my window, New York City. <laughs> um, it's been crazy. A lot has happened. I have developed some not great habits. My screen time is embarrassingly high, but that's okay. It's a new year. I am working on starting this back up again. Um, I have new plans. I have new motivation. It's gonna be good. <laughs> so yeah, let's just reset my life. Um, basically, we're going to clean out my closet because I feel like I have so much stuff. It's very hard to like see everything. Um, and it like very quickly gets very messy in here because I have so much stuff. <laughs> I honestly don't have very many pieces. I've already, as you saw, taken out like summer pieces that aren't relevant to this season. And I feel like I have, first of all, a lot of white in my closet, but I also have just, I don't have a lot of character pieces. And um, part of that is because I gained a lot of weight um, last, or I guess in 2020. This dress I have and I keep because it is the epitome of what I want out of my closet. Like it's the perfect dress and I bought it July of 2020 for my birthday um, and it fit me perfectly. Like it fit me like a glove and by October it was already too small for me. So I had to get rid of a lot of like the character pieces that I had in my closet because they just didn't fit me anymore. Um, and then it was like a mental thing I had to get over because I did, I, thought, I thought my boobs were too big when they were a D and now the fact that I'm a G is, it's a lot for my brain to like comprehend. So basically I just, I have a lot of basics and not a whole lot else. I literally wear about 5% of my closet and that's, that's it really. So basically, how I'm gonna tackle this closet clean out type of situation, this refresh, is I'm gonna try everything on because you really can't do a proper closet clean out without trying things on. If it sparks joy, we're gonna bring the little, we're gonna, we're gonna bring Marie Kondo back a little bit. Um, and <laughs> if it fits my style vision for 2022, I'm gonna give you some images give you some ideas of what I'm envisioning for my style in the future. Um, here you go, some Pinterest images of how I perceive my style, what I want it to be. I also don't need to try this dress on because I already know I'm keeping this dress forever. It's Ula Johnson, it's gorgeous. So obviously I'm keeping that one. We're not getting rid of it. Oh my God, the heater is so obnoxiously loud. I'll wait, I'll keep going until it turns on fully, but I can't do anything once it's on, filming wise, because it's so obnoxious. Okay, next thing I have this um, Cielo Studios. It's a really cool brand, actually. Cielo Studios, um, she, the owner is an Australian woman. She lives in London. She designs everything ethically and sustainably, so it's a really cool brand, but I'm keeping this. It's like a go-to for fall and summer. Um, I layer it, layer tank turtlenecks and such underneath it. Um, yeah, so this one's a key. I got this cool Ralph Lauren, um, what's it called, vest. I don't totally know how I'm gonna style it yet, obviously not with these pants, but like with jeans by itself in the summer I think would be cool, or yeah. Um, 
but anyway I like this and it still brings me joy even though I have yet to wear it so I'm gonna keep this one too this sweater vest I can already tell you is gonna go in the maybe pile I don't know every time I wear it I just it kind of bubbles around my stomach and it's a lot it's very thick for summer I just don't have much currently to wear with it so it like I don't know it's just weird it's just kind of I don't know it, it's just kind of weird so this one is going in the maybe pile these three are just basics this one I got this summer I love it I wear it all the time I actually wear it with the Ula Johnson dress sometimes um, this La Causa used to be a Lena Tabers. I bought it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I bought it at a, what was that place called? It was like a little pop-up here in the city. Um, oh shoot. Why am I, why am I not blanking on what that is called? Now this top, this one, oh, it's like a seventies dagger collar. And look at this pattern. It's like spaceships and planets. Not spaceships. I, I think it's just planets. Oh, yeah, look, there's a satellite on the bottom. But um, I actually originally got this because I was going to offer it to my older sister because she is really into space and astronomy. And I don't know if she's even going to want it, but <laughs> it's cool and it's quirky, which is why I liked it originally. Um, I, however, have worn it one time. So that tells me I'm not going to wear it very much. So this one is going to go either in the sell or the give to my older sister pile. I think this t-shirt is getting transferred to the sleep t-shirt division. It's a good one because I bought it this spring from And Other Stories. And Other Stories is a fast fashion brand that I have such a difficult time breaking up with it's tough for so it's got like these cool little ties that you tie around that comes down like that if it's a little bit chilly out I don't like any skin being exposed because like then I'm cold because I have like a little patch of my stomach here that's not covered by my shirt and even though the rest of me is covered I feel cold because my shirt has these cute little details on it. So I don't wear it that often. Again, I do really like it though. I think I might keep it just because it's a good thing to have in my closet and I don't want to get rid of everything. We got more basic collared shirts. The amount of these that I have is frankly a ridiculous. Okay, where here we have four. Five long sleeved collared shirts. However, they all have different purposes. Okay, this one, fix my shirt. This one is a flowy silk one that I wear when I'm feeling flowy, you know? This one is a summery one. I guess I can put this in my summer clothes, so we'll put it here. But, you know, it's like it's that gauzy beachy material not quite flowy a little more casual but you know beachy that's important to have then I have this one this is my linen one and the only thing I think I will continually buy from and other stories from now on because it's perfect I wear it all the time over tank tops over swimsuits this is a necessity in my closet this one you can see is much it's got more sleeves. It's, it's got a bit of a different thing going on. So it's just, I have to have it. It's different, right? So like there's that. And then this one is just a short sleeve. So I need that too. And I wish I didn't. I wish I perceived them all to be the exact same thing, but I don't. And they all have a place in my closet and that's what really matters. If it has a purpose, in your closet don't get rid of it because then you're gonna have a void for the purpose that it feels okay this one is gonna be a struggle for me because okay because here's the thing look at it look at it it's the coolest effing shirt you've ever seen in your life look at this this is like the coolest shirt ever however look at how big it is 
I have to back all the way up into my closet for you to see the bottom of it. Like, it's, it's huge. It's like a triple XL, I think. Um, which kind of prevents me from wearing it because of its size. It doesn't always look good. <laughs> so, um, but it's so cool. I think it would break my heart to get rid of it. You see where my dilemma is. Um, I'm gonna put it in the maybes. And I feel like maybe this spring, I could wear it with some jeans maybe. This shirt, it's another basic. It's a gingham, picnic-y, button-down. I have a lot of button-downs. I think that meant to be where my issue is in my closet. I've got a lot of button-downs and not a whole lot else. Um, so maybe that's why I struggle with pieces of character because I, <laughs> I only wear button-downs, apparently. So these pants I really like, and I bought them again at a flea market. Um, however, they don't fit me properly. You can see they kind of bubble out here and fit my crotch weird. So they're not very flattering. And I keep, you know, it's really hard for me to lose weight. So I keep telling myself if I lose weight, then I'll fit into them better. But realistically, because I have Hashimoto's, losing weight is not an easy thing for me. Realistically, I think it might just be better if I get rid of them and try and find ones that actually fit me now in this body. Leather pants from Madewell, which I just love. They're kind of a staple in my closet. I love them, but like with boots, I don't think the crop is too bad. These pants technically fit me. They're very tight in the waistband. Um, like after a while, it kind of becomes painful, but everywhere else they fit me really well. Um, so yeah, they're good for like, you know, dressing up like a casual. Okay, this is that dress that I showed you earlier that I said was perfect and everything that I wanted out of my closet. And it is, and it's the only reason I've kept it because it really doesn't fit me very well anymore. Like I said, I gained a lot of weight and my boobs grew a lot, which I hate, but have to deal with because it's just how it is. Um, I would love to get a breast reduction, but at the moment I cannot afford that. So, um, like, like when I was at my heaviest, this dress didn't even kind of fit me. Like, um, the buttons here at the stomach were fully, like, out, and you, whoopsie daisies, did that. <laughs> or they just kind of, like, came undone, especially after I ate. But, I mean, look at this dress. Especially from the back. I mean, come on. It is so pretty. And I've just, I've never found anything like this um, ever since then, like in my current size. So I've kept it, on, kept it, held on to it for all these years because I do know that if I do ever lose weight or go back to like my standard, then I'm obviously gonna want this dress. So I've held on to it and I'm going to continue holding on to it because it's just everything about this dress is perfect. Yeah, anyway, that's it. <laughs> that's, I just had to show it. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. And I know this looks like a giant pile of clothes. Um, it's not that big though. So, <laughs> um, and there aren't that many clothes. So I'm gonna put them away and do some reorganizing and cleaning. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Toodles.